elections. As a result of the cabinet meeting this morning, uh, it was agreed and uh, that the president would be issuing an executive order per the IATF recommendation to make indoor mask wearing also voluntary all over the Philippines with a few exceptions, namely that uh, mask wearing would still be required in public transportation as well as medical transportation and in medical facilities. Mask wearing would also be highly encouraged for unvaccinated individuals, the uh, persons with comorbidities as well as senior citizens. But generally, the direction of the Marcos administration is to lift the remainder of uh, travel restrictions into the Philippines, and that includes easing of our mask mandates to allow our country to be at par with our ASEAN neighbors who have long liberalized their mask mandates. Uh, it was also discussed that uh, the remainder of stringent protocols, such as the requirement of pre-departure testing into the Philippines uh, in the form of an RT-PCR, would also be removed. In addition to this, as far as uh, unvaccinated foreigners are concerned, they would uh, henceforth be allowed entry into the Philippines with only the requirement of presenting a, an antigen test 24 hours uh, taken before departure or an option of taking an antigen test upon arrival into the Philippines. Uh, in addition to this, uh, it was also agreed that uh, the One Health Pass would be removed as already publicly announced and replaced with an e-arrival platform that uh, introduces great convenience to our travelers and tourists in a sense that the interface is now more user-friendly 20 questions that used to be in place have now been reduced to 10, uh, specifically those that are tourism related. And as agreed during the meeting, it was clarified that the filling out of the e-arrival card would not be made mandatory as a prerequisite to boarding. In other words, you can fill out the e-arrival card at your own convenience prior to departure or upon arrival. The overarching direction of the Marcos administration is to allow our country to convey an openness and a readiness to the world to receive tourists and investments so that uh, we would give our fellow Filipinos an opportunity to regain all the livelihood and uh, losses that were incurred during the pandemic. So we are optimistic that with all of these uh, restrictions being lifted by the Marcos administration, that this can only redound to the benefit of the lives of millions of Filipinos that serve to benefit as well from the reinvigoration of the tourism industry.